chugga chugga woo woo. Chugga 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 woo woo. What's that in the track ahead? Oh no, there's a tree on the tracks. Help me, help me. Someone tied me to the railroad tracks. The brakes! Hit the brakes! Wahoo! We did it! Hey, Sprout. Maybe you can help me set up the forest instead of putting poor defenseless trees in danger. Sure, Dad. Here you go. Just put these on the hill, like this. Dad, do you make forests at work? Well, I am a forester for the state. At the Minnesota DNR? That's right, Department of Natural Resources. I work in the Division of Forestry. And you make forests? Well, honey, the forests grow naturally, but we help manage them so they stay healthy. How do you do that? It's not easy. We expect a lot from forests nowadays. We build homes in them and use them for all kinds of recreation. This can lead to issues like forests getting divided up and people causing wildfires in them. We also value forests for different reasons. Some people notice forests because of all the plants and animals that live in them. Others look at the trees and see all the products that can be made from them to meet the growing demand for wood in our country and in the world. To keep trees healthy for all these uses, we need to keep the whole forest healthy. Experts at the DNR help private and public forest managers find affordable ways to keep healthy stands of different trees growing strong. And Minnesota law directs the DNR to grow replacement trees for the ones that are cut each year from land that is cared for by the DNR. Some of them grow back naturally from seeds, sprouts, and root suckers. Sometimes we plant new trees. Do you make them? Sort of. We grow more than 20 types of native trees and many kinds of shrubs in two state forest nurseries, and sometimes we buy trees from private nurseries. The state nurseries sell around 10 million seedlings each year to federal, state, and local government, to private landowners, and to other organizations such as schools and commercial forest operations. These seedlings are used to replace trees in forests that are cut down and to restore forests in areas where they once grew. These seedlings create windbreaks and shelter belts for protection against strong winds and snow. They also can be used to stop erosion, to conserve water and soil, or to provide food and shelter to wildlife. So that the forests will be strong and healthy in the future, our seedlings are grown using seed from our best native trees, ones that grow well in our climate. Can't the DNR just tell people to leave the forests alone? Then you wouldn't have to replant them. Well, it's not that easy, kiddo. Minnesota's forests have many different owners, including governments, businesses, and nonprofit organizations. A third of our forests are owned by private landowners. So DNR forest experts and other resource professionals try to teach landowners how to take care of their forests and to make forest stewardship plans. These plans help landowners use their trees while still protecting the ecology of the forests and Minnesota. We also help city residents understand that they live in a forest too, an urban forest. We help them plan how to plant and care for trees in neighborhoods, city parks, and business places because trees are an important part of a community's environment. Dad, why are these trees different? Well, some trees are called evergreens or conifers. They have needles for leaves. Others are called deciduous or broadleaf trees. They are the ones that lose their leaves in the fall. Besides looking different, trees also require different growing conditions. These growing conditions are organized into regions called biomes. Four biomes meet in Minnesota. There's the prairie grasslands biome. There is the tall grass aspen parklands biome that has both prairie grasses and aspen trees. There are the evergreen, aspen, and birch forests that make up what's called the coniferous forest biome. And finally, there are forests made up mostly of oak, maple, and ash trees. This is the deciduous forest biome. With these different growing areas, Minnesota has more than 50 native tree species. Nearly one-third of Minnesota, a little more than 16 million acres, is forested. About 4 million acres of that are located within 58 state forests managed by the DNR's Forestry Division. Dad? Tell me again why we should care about forests. 
because forests benefit many parts of our lives here in Minnesota. They are home to many native animals and plants. They protect our lakes, rivers, and soil from erosion. And they are recreation areas for hiking, bird watching, horseback riding, hunting, skiing, motorized vehicle use, and camping. Forests are also a source of jobs and income because they provide trees for forest products and scenic beauty for tourism.